Well, there was intensive storyboarding, which there always is before every shoot. But for visual effects sequences, storyboarding extremely, extremely important because you're actually designing your shot accordingly. You design your shot according to the storyboard so that we are all on the same page when the shot is being taken. Yeah, the cliff wall sequence, I think, uh, has been the most uh, grueling and the most tormenting schedule of Laksh. Here, I had to, you know, completely support my entire weight on this sheer wall with my fingers and my toes. And it was hot as hell. Coming right back from Ladakh, where it was cold as hell, and now we were shooting in this place, it was just like a sauna. Well, every shot actually in that sequence was dangerous because we were hanging uh, at heights of about uh, 40 to 50 feet at times with nothing to help us but our own strength and uh, Kea, Kea's, uh, Kea's safety wires. Thanks to him, I think we all felt confident enough to do it and completely safe enough to do it. I would say that was a rather difficult shoot for me, probably more difficult than being in Ladakh and shooting there because it was extremely hot. All in all, we got around 20 kgs of luggage behind our back and you're trying to climb the wall, though you're on a harness, but the gravity is pulling you down. To maintain the balance, you have to be on your grip and so your ankles, your fingers start hurting. When we would come down from the wall, we would be drenched, completely drenched of sweat. We Working with uh, Sunny Bubble, who we, um, we would meet every day and, and talk about how we would, you know, or mainly he would tell me what he was doing with the set and how he was building it. And then we did changes to make it easier for the actors to work on everything that we did when Especially for the actors, uh, being off the ground and, and up on the, the uh, rock wall, we, we made sure that everything was double checked. I think that's a big part of it, is getting, getting their confidence so they can do their job without worrying about what I've done, which is pretty important. It was uh, a wall, a 60 foot by 100 foot wall, uh, completely chromed uh, out on all sides, blue screened out on all sides, and all the stuff has been put in, in, in visual in, uh, visual effects by a very talented team of people, and I think uh, they've done an ex excellent job, and I think it shows in the film because you can't really tell what is special effects and what is not, and I think that is the most important part of doing a special effect when you can't see it. Um, so really uh, all credit to, to them for putting it together and for the DP for shooting it well and the action director for forming all of that. There was also um, a rigger, he worked with us just on that sequence, he was flown down just for that sequence from Australia and he's, he's an extremely talented guy, he's worked on ma the Matrix movies and things and um, it, it was impossible to do the sequence without it. He's a rock climber himself, so his complete and utter knowledge and control of that situation when everybody was up on that rock face was an asset for I think every department. From for me for directing to the DP to the actors, he was just completely reassuring presence.
was up there. For this particular shoot, my biggest issue was the rigging. It was done very well by a chap called Kier. And I, my only job here was to make sure that the camera wasn't taking too complex moves. But I had to understand the moves that were being taken and um, to ensure that the cables didn't cross people's faces and to ensure that we were able to remove it, just to ensure that we were all uh, looking at the same thing. It was huge. And the whole thing of shooting it with an Aquila crane was... The Aquila, I think this one went up to 72 feet or something like that, and the cliff was 60 feet. So I would have been able, with the base put down, to swing the arm wherever I want. I could do movement. It took like 5 to 10, 15, 20 minutes maximum to change the camera setup, coming from here to here or to here, because we just had to move the base, which saved a lot of time and made us quicker, because we lost a lot of time of the rigging and the harnessing of the actors and then them getting up into position and figuring out where the positions were and stuff like that, so that, that saved a little bit. But that, that, that set was quite a challenge. <laughs> the kids, you know, who go to see the film, and teenagers, and you know, whatever, will relate very strongly even to the background score there. And uh, basically for the cliff climb, climbing sequence, we created a little guitar riff, which, uh, which basically would goes through like, you know. It's like a very alternative rock guitar part, and it works fantastically with the visual. This shot was extremely complex. Here the perspective changes, then when he turns his body, the perspective changes again. The perspective is changing right through the shot, so there's an in intense amount of tracking that was done on this shot and movement. Then this shot is the big follow-up shot, where here we've removed this wire, cut out this entire portion, removed all the wires here, and clean out the white wire. And once the bag is up, we've been able to take only this portion and recreate the entire mountain. So that when you zoom out, you have the following trench and the entire thing. But here, you, what you'll see is as much as we had to begin with. But we didn't use any of this because it looks too flat for a surface. So we sort of cut this portion out and put it into an entire frame. Very nice. Camouflage, Kamakul cups, a rugged location, bright sun, and lest you be mistaken, it's pretty cold. I remember a moment when we were shooting a song, the Convoy song. We started rehearsing for the song, and so uh, the song was playing in the background, and uh, we all like got around each other, holding our uh, 
sheets of paper with the lyrics of the song and we all just you know belted out the song and got into the character you know like a, a pat on the back to each other like you know guys we got to do this well aage badhte hai rehna ab to hame saath hi hai bas itna hi kehna it was tough to choreograph the soldiers and the convoy because everything had to be synchronized in and it, with a lot of space between uh, the entire jeep the trucks so it had to look like in one uh, line it, it, it had to be uniform so that was very difficult without the ads we couldn't could have never done this and we had brilliant ads so everything was in control uh, otherwise the song wasn't possible खतरों से हंस के खेलना इतनी तो हमें हिम्मत है घोड़े कलाई मौत की इतनी तो हमें ताकत है हम सरहदों के पास में लोहे की एक दीवार है हम दुश्मनों के पास में होशियार है तैयार है अब जो भी हो शोला बन के पत्थर है पिघला Searching for locations. We just went through this thing, then we went some other places that side also. So while coming back, uh, Farhan just you know stopped it and said he said this will be a nice place because that mosque was constructed in that side. <laughs> and then the thing was clear. so we i mean uh, decided to uh, make your things over here then we talked to the villagers you know le normally <laughs> everywhere looks empty spaces and uh, yeah this place it was nice because there a lot of water and uh, like local material uh, okay available. because we were in the village yeah we were yeah, in the village chris anderson and uh, angelo the action directors from australia there was so much happening but the safety precautions that they were taking were incredible every actor knew exactly what was happening when it was happening and why it was happening everything was well informed and i think they pulled it off really really well working with the um hindi film crew has been quite an eye opener they have a different way of preparing for things but it all seems to come together. I've had a great time with the ADs, the art department. I mean they're world standard. Working with Fahan has been an absolute dream. The man's got an amazing eye for action, an incredible eye for detail on on what he wants. Ladakh is a very very beautiful place but it's also a very very tough place. When I first got in here I had 3 days of acclimatization. After that I did a couple of nights and they were very very cold.